South Africans recognize the role played by O.R. Tambo in the struggle for liberation? In fact, do South Africans understand who O.R. is in the thicker scheme of South African politics? Has the ANC lived up to the ideals of O.R. Tambo? How should O.R. be remembered? What time is it? It's question time. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Mpo Tseidu. He is the longest serving president of the African National Congress. He is the man who led the ANC through the toughest era in the struggle for liberation. He did not live long enough to enjoy the freedom which he had spent his entire life fighting for. He passed on the eve of the first democratic elections. He is Oliver. Reginald Tambo. Eguruleni Metropolitan Council has officially declared the month of October as OR Tambo Month. My guest is Eguruleni Metro Executive Mayor Mondli Gungubeli. Executive Mayor, welcome to the show. Um, it seems to be becoming a norm that whenever we talk icons of the struggle of uh, South African liberation, we have you here. Chris Honey, Oliver Tambo, you're housing the greatest, if not amongst the greatest leaders of South African liberation struggle. This time, O.R. Tambo. Greatest privilege indeed. Good afternoon to your viewers. And I hope we live in a manner consistent with that location. Mm. Mm. Do South Africans recognize the role played by O.R. Tambo in the struggle for liberation? I'm not sure, but... Uh, I guess maybe even the fact that we call October his month, mm. it's an attempt to expose that role. Mm. Uh, there's a number of things of late which we do, which uh, in my view, if we really understood what he stood for, could not happen. Mm. Issues of humility, yes. respect, accountability, sense of responsibility. Mm. Uh, commitment to excellence, mm -hmm. uh, hatred for shenanigans, despise of uh, of things like corruption and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying, if in the broader scheme of society, he was well understood. Some of the things that have become so prominent. Yes, uh, I think anyone in his memory would not tolerate such an environment. I ask the question here, you know, do South Africans understand who OR is in this thicker scheme of uh, South African struggle for liberation? I, I, I repeat that <clears throat> if, we did knew, if we did know him, if you look at our approach in dealing with issues of schooling, mm. uh, in dealing with issues of work ethic, in dealing with issues of how you carry yourself in society. Yes. Uh, there are those who understand him. I think there's still quite a number that doesn't. Okay. Mm. And how should we remember him then? I think if we best remember OR, yes. we, we talk here about a scholar, an internationalist, mm -hmm. uh, a religious advocate, a peace hero, mm -hmm. uh, an academic, okay. uh, a thorough politician, very clinical leader, uh, a near perfectionist. Uh, I usually say to people, uh, I think it's too late for me to think I can be like him. Yeah. But I'll be satisfied if I die struggling to be like him. 
I once spoke to um, Minister Mwakura Mathodi uh, recently, having been uh, his speechwriter at some point, uh, saying that his first speech uh, was red penned, uh, about 90% of it, he left only one paragraph. And I mean, uh, I'm thinking, when you say that he was a perfectionist, mm. do you have those type of leaders today in, in the ANC? I think we do. Okay. Uh, I think we do. Uh, I think we're a mixture of good leaders <laughs> and bad and, ones. Uh, and some leaders. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't um, a month like this, which I want to believe that it's not just an Eguruleni month, of course, it is being launched in Eguruleni. You have decided that mm. officially this is your month. Mm. But Nationally, it obviously has national and international implications. What would you want the people to take out of uh, Egurleni this month? I think what we are trying to do, <laughs> all these events that we're having, yes. it's an excuse to expose people on the role played by OR. Okay. And how that role led to where we are today. Mm. That he was able to subjugate anger to his brain, to his intellect. He, he was able to, to focus on what was essential. Mm -hmm. And uh, one writer uh, refers to him uh, as somebody who transcended, trans transcended in incidentals. Mm -hmm. In other words, one of the great leaders in terms of focus, uh, that he, he, he became an advocate during his generation mm -hmm. of 1944 of, the, of asserting the fact that blacks are capable. Yes. Uh, remember, he, together with Mukwena, Joe, they were the first Africans to beat South Africa in the national exams. Okay. Uh, remember when they went to Forte, he discovered that together with Joe that uh, not a single African majored in physics and mathematics yeah. in BSc. They took a decision to major in that and did that cum laude. I remember he also recognized the role, the spiritual role in the sustenance, sustenance of humanity. Yeah. Uh, he got arrested when he was about to be inaugurated as a priest. We talk up of somebody who, who understood that to be a leader, you had to be a macrocosm of that which society stands for. You had to present yourself as accommodating, accommodative, as approachable by all sectors of society. Mm -hmm. In the education sector, he was prominent. In the sports sector, he was prominent. In the religious sector, he was present. In international politics, in the ideological space, he was prominent. As a result, the broader society was able to relate to him. I think he presented an example of what a leader is supposed to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want us to talk about um, what Ekuruleni is doing or offering. Uh, about OR Tambo, but only after the break. For now, we're going to take a quick break. Please don't go away. Discover the future of draft. Castle 1895 Draft. Progressively crafted by a new generation of brewmasters. A 
SABC News delivers stories that unify the nation in many ways. Stories that inspire us to see the world differently, appreciate and celebrate our diversity. And mostly, they make this place a better country to live in despite our colour, beliefs or culture. I, I, I'm, I am Mahendra Raghunath. You have Tabile Wando, Lulu Gabu. Join us every day as we provide updates on local and international news straight into your home. We, we, we are, we are SABC News. Welcome back to Watching Question Time. My guest today is the Executive Mayor of Egulene Metro Council, Councillor Mondi Gungbele. Before we go into the uh, second uh, lap of the program, let's firstly have a look at what the people on the street have to say about OR. What a giant this man was. Uh, personally, I think uh, we should honor his legacy by encouraging our children to go to school to study because he would remember that O.R. was say, an educationist then he became a lawyer and uh, I think it's very very important for us to honor his legacy by encouraging kids to study. We have an airport uh, uh, named after him and uh, any foreign national who comes to South Africa uh, through air. When he touch base in South Africa, the first thing is it he interacts with his OR Tambo. So we think that in that sense, uh, there is a recognition. Now, Executive Mayor, the first um, respondent there says education for children, which is something that I think you have already emphasized. And then the second one talks of uh, OR Tambo International Airport. Perhaps in your response to both of this, can you just also include what the aim of the uh, metro is with uh, this month? What, what are you offering um, South Africans and international guests? Uh, this month, there's a number of things that are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Amongst others is an event that started last year, referred to as the melting pot. The best 10 top choirs in South Africa, which have been selected from various competitions yes. from the choral sector, will be performing for two days. Okay. And the, the next issue will be debates at schools by youngsters facilitated by various leaders to actually check if they know who OR is yes. and use those debates to expose the deeper history of OR. OR is a tone setter in the world in terms of human rights. A man who introduced the concept of apartheid in the United Nations. Mm -hmm. A man who led to the establishment of the first committee on apartheid in the United Nations, who actually raised the biggest awareness about apartheid in the entire world. All these events are an excuse to actually force South Africans to pause and actually be told who this gentle giant of Africa was. Okay. Mm. What do you have? You've got the OR Tambo um, airport, which I, I still don't understand why the Johannesburg tag is still there. Because it's very naughty. Uh, yeah. Because it then, you know, takes it away from Egurlen. Yeah. But maybe that's a discussion for another day. Mm. Um, you've got the airport. Uh, what else is there? We've got the narrative center. Which I'll invite you to come and see. Okay. Uh, it's in Wadville. Mm -hmm. It's a huge, very state of the art narrative center constructed in the green uh, science. The, the story of OR is written there. Uh, his life from Kandol uh, to, jo to Holy Cross, mm. from Holy Cross to St. Peter's and Rosettenville, mm. from Rosettenville to Forte, from Forte, becoming a lawyer, 
becoming a religious academic and a leader of the ANC in the Youth League and a leader of the Mother Party, becoming the, the Secretary General of the ANC and uh, later setting up uh, the, 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 the wing of the ANC in exile and being that longest serving president, uh, traversing mm. all the adversities that kept the ANC together until we talk freedom that we have today. What kind of a priest is this who then establishes an armed wing to kill? Mm. Uh, you see, it's a very, very interesting question. Mm. Tambo, in my view, this mm. is my view of yeah. having gone through literature, listening to him to Radio Freedom, yes. is that uh, he was a realist. You know, for instance, God has given us capabilities. Mm. And in my view, production of an army mm. is an exercise of the brain that God has given you. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go to school to defend yourself against apartheid, mm. uh, when you build institutions mm. like organizations, all those together with the army uh, constitute all the manifestations of human capabilities that God gives you to continue to survive. I want to refer you to a quotation by OR. I think um, our uh, director will just put it back there, which, which uh, then gives you another side of the man. We have a vision of South Africa in which black and white shall live and work together as equals in conditions of peace and prosperity. I think Tambo was an epitome of what led to the establishment of the ANC. Mm. ANC was not founded for the ANC, by the way. Mm. ANC is a product of a particular history in South Africa. Yes. A history that manifested in racism, in division, lack of democracy, lack of unity, lack of stability. And ANC, being a product of that environment, had to assume a responsibility to coin a mission that turns that situation around. He lives his life uh, to that mission until he died. Mm. He was committed to the unit of South Africans. Non-racialism to him was not about how many blacks are where and how many whites are where. And uh, the person who actually stated in a more fundamental way is Tabombegi, as he was interviewed, being one of the last leaders to come to the country, and they, and they asked him this question, when shall we say South Africa is non-racial? Mm. Tabo said, I want to go to Loftus to see 15 white rugby players play, but knowing that their color has nothing to do with them being in the squad. That's the time I will say South Africa is non-racial. In other words, OR taught the true non-racialism not how many blacks were, people viewing one another as human beings. And he lived that okay. by working with all kinds of people, black, whites, and Indians, as his friends, comrades in liberation, and otherwise. We're going to take a break. When we return, before we wrap up the show, let's look at the ANC of Tambo and the ANC of Councillor Gungubel. This is question time. Take note of the following changes. Corsa and Zulu News bulletins will now be broadcast at 10 p.m., followed by Sesutu News at 10.30 p.m. Siswadi and Debele News will be at 11 p.m. and the Tsonga and Vende News bulletins at 11.30 p.m. Stay tuned to the SABC News Channel. A huge part of this African growth is technological innovation. Governments here are working hard to ensure that the continent's technology matches that of more advanced countries. High-speed internet connectivity is regarded as a utility. 
As the continent battles diseases like Ebola, social media becomes the preferred method to share information. People on social media are some of the society's most influential. To find out more, join me as Pumele Lezondi on Network every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. only on SABC News. Welcome back, you're still watching Question Time. My guest today is the Executive Mayor of Egruleni Metro Council, Councillor Monzi Gungbele. Now, Executive Mayor, um, we have referred to the fact that Tambo was the longest serving president of the ANC, which it has been explained, and I guess there's justification of why he remained president uh, for that long. Um, is that ANC, the same ANC as the one that we have in South Africa today? In terms of our policy, in terms of our resolutions that we adopt from conference to conference, mm. it remains that ANC. Mm. In terms of a number of us, I didn't think all of us still live in a manner consistent with that. Mm. I, I must accept that those of us who, who, betray, who have betrayed that mission mm. and who continue to do so, there are those amongst us who have actually lived up to, to that mission. Mm. What is causing all this? My view is, I think it's materialism. I think it's, it's, the, I think it's, it's, it's wealth, it's money. Mm. And uh, we are also at times challenged for consistency. Mm. Uh, in my view, when we entered freedom, I don't think we planned for the fact that we could suffer the consequences of incumbency, mm. uh, where some of us present that arrogance, where some of us don't honor uh, the roots that founded the ANC, the roots of humility, of accountability, of respect. The ANC that knew that it is the product of the people, it didn't produce the people. Mm. The ANC that knows in itself it is the plan of the people. The ANC that knows that uh, when it was founded, the struggle was more than 100 of years mm. of the people. Mm. In other words, it did not start the struggle. And that ANC always respected people all the time. That ANC knew that without the people, it was nothing. Uh, I don't think all of us are doing well in as far as that aspect is concerned. But now, why was O.R. Tambo able to unite, unify, and make sure that the ANC does not disintegrate during a very tough period? Mm. And now things are easy, but the ANC is, you know, here and there. I, I think for the credibility of any message lies in the integrity of the messenger. Just, just run that again? The credibility of any message mm -hmm. lies in the integrity of the messenger. Okay. Uh, O.R. spoke the life, spoke the life he lived. So you were, people were prepared to follow him once they agree with what he said. Mm. In agreeing with what he said and knowing that he lived up to what he said, 
people were prepared to listen to him mm. at all times. So his call for unity was easily followed because that is the life he lived. Mm. But today we're seeing actually the opposite of that. I mean, um, save for your PEC, which was recently elected. I mean, in other instances, although ANC structures and leaders may say contestation is allowed within the ANC, it's part of the democratic processes, we know that it's ugly. Let me say this. My experience in the ANC since unbending, especially of late, mm. there's nothing wrong with contestation. It's a culture of a movement. Yeah. But my, my worry these days is what that contestation is about. Mm. It is not that consultation most of the time which is informed by the, pro by the program of the ANC. Mm. No ideologies. No ideas. ideologies. Mm. It's a constant contestation in a number of areas which are about occupations of centers of power Correct. for material control. Mm. And the problem is that that, contest that contestation is very ugly and that contestation is governed by egocentrism, selfishness. Okay. It's, 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 it's either me or nothing. And at the same time, if that concentration continues to go in the manner it does, what suffers is the program that our movement is historically about. And as that happens, doesn't somebody like you, in the seat that you occupy, where you have to ensure that delivery takes place, for the people of Ekurulen. Don't you then get compromised or affected? Uh, I don't want to claim to, as one of the innocent and perfect people in the ANC. Yeah. I guess, in one way or another, my leadership might have contributed to the kind of challenges we have. But I can tell you, I try my best every morning to do the best I, I can with the collective that we work on. And we've been able to accept that there are areas where we are not perfect, yeah. but there are areas where we can touch ourselves. If you go to the city, for instance, uh, you remember the city had a lot of instability. Sure. It used to be subject of strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, since 2011, it was really stable. We are able, we've been able to uh, amass machinery of skilled people. As I talk to you now, we can just say, go to Tembisa, the BRT program has started. It's dust. Uh, we are rolling out the digital city program. We are involved in the regeneration of the city. And uh, we are running a huge program that is turning our airport to compete with other airports on the airport economy. So what I'm saying is that there's a lot that we're trying to do. And uh, of course, there's, there's a big room for improvement. Executive Mayor, let me wish you all the best as you improve the lives of the people of Eguruleni. That was question time for today. A big thank you to you and to my guest. We welcome your feedback via email, question time at sabc.co.za, our Twitter handle at question time24. From me and the crew, have yourself a wonderful time. Goodbye.